Recently, I got my hands on the JVC DLA N7 projector with over 6000 hours of use. After replacing the lab for the third time, I noticed a major drop in brightness and contrast, so I decided to open it up and take a closer look to check the condition of the optical engine and find out what was causing this huge performance drop. The outer casing comes off easily by unscrewing the black screws around the edges. Underneath, we found the main chassis, a build that honestly feels more like a tank than a projector. Here's the main control board, responsible for powering the three 4K LCOS panels. Each panel is connected via a ribbon cable made up of four separate segments. Disconnecting them isn't difficult, but it does require careful movement. Once the control board is removed, the optical engine is revealed. There are a lot of cables and connectors here, and you really have to be careful not to damage anything during disassembly. This is the CPU board, which not only houses the processor, but also handles all external connections like the dual HDMI ports. Here we see the sealed cooling system for the three Elcos panels. Once that's out of the way, we gain full access to the optical engine and the panels themselves. The optical engine can be removed relatively easily from the chassis. It then breaks down it on two main parts, the Elcos panel block with a lens and the core optical block that contains all the polarizers and all the special color filters. By removing the top cover of the optical block, we can see the internal lenses and crystals and of course, a chance to admire the Japanese optical engineering at its best. Dust had settled across the entire optical block and a careful cleaning was absolutely necessary. At this point, there's zero room for errors, so I took my time and I did it with extreme care. The result? Outstanding. The optical engine was full restored and honestly, it looked like new again. Reassembly might require even more focus. Every part has to go back in exactly the right order. This is the iris mechanism along with a special GVC color filter. And yeah, in repairs like this, the big question is always the same. How many screws will be left over? The filter on the back is dedicated exclusively to the sealed cooling system for the panels, not the projector's entire cooling system. Now, the real stress test comes when you power it on. With such a complex machine, there's always a bit of anxiety. Will it boot up normally? In my case, thankfully it did. The projector turned on just fine and displayed a perfect image. I won't get into numbers or measurements, but I'll just say this. The difference before and after cleaning was night and day. Take a look for yourself. The colors come back to life, brightness and contrast return to factory levels, and the overall performance was completely transformed compared to the mess it was before. Thanks for watching my video, see you in the next one, take care!